Hey everyone, my name is Crystal. I currently play uh, Apex Legends professionally for Triumph Gaming. And recently I made it to Apex Predator as the first Revenant player in the world, where I hit uh, Apex Predator as number five in the entire world on PC. Revenant as a character has a lot of variety and options due to his ability set and passive as well. So you can play him in a lot of different styles. You can play him very flank heavy due to the fact that he can crotch walk very fast. You can play him a little bit more passive and hold choke due to his Q ability where he just throws an orb but you can block people with that. And also you can play him very aggressively straightforward frontline when you have your ult up. So it's important to understand when to play certain ways. Like I think that's one of the issues people are having right now is that they try to see everything black and white. Uh, as an example, Lifeline is a support. Oh, Wraith is a frontline character. Whereas Revenant is someone that can actually thread in between whenever you're playing him differently based on his ultimate when you don't have it, etc. A common misplay while playing Revenant would be that they overuse their abilities. They're using them in situations where they don't really need to. As an example would be when you use his Q, which can, you know, lock out abilities for 10 seconds. Um, you might use it in the beginning of a battle where it takes long, 10 or more seconds for you to actually go deep into the fight, meaning you just used it for no reason, right? Um, or it could be where you're only gunfighting and you never got to use your ability at all. So you kind of want to find that sweet spot where you're using it mid fight. A good example would be a Wraith pushes into you, you damage him half HP, you crack his armor, and then you throw your ability so that he can't fade out. You kind of want to find a mid spot when, when and where you want to use it. And you can also use it defensively, whereas you're running through a door or a choke and you put your uh, your ball, which covers an area, to block the door so they have to run through it to get to you. That way, if a Wraith pushes you, she can't fade out. The same thing, right? So you have to think ahead of time where you want to use it in each fight instead of just throwing it randomly, which I see a lot of uh, Revenant do. Like before fights even start, they just throw it in because they just want to use it, I guess. So. Uh, another misplay with Revenant would be his ultimate, which is honestly the highest skill capped ability in the game right now because it has so many options you can use it. Uh, I said it on my stream a few times, but the most important part is like you can use it to rotate for loot because when you die, you get teleported back to your totem, right? So you can pop it, look for safe loot or even unsafe loot. And if you die, you just go back and you reset. Uh, you can also use it to obviously serve someone. So if somebody's bunking up in a house, you can put your totem in a safe area and you can just serve the house and then get back out safely. Uh, but the best positioning would be, honestly, in my opinion, instead of just middle, same level ground, you want to put it on a really height disadvantage for the opponent. So that would be a cliff. Whereas you put it on a cliff, and then you drop down the cliff, and there's no way for them to break your totem or even chase you, unless you're a Pathfinder. If you put it, you know, across houses, they can actually still chase you down to the totem. So what sort of comps does Revenant actually fit in? I like to play him very aggressively because in rank you get to play very aggressively because people tend to be more passive. So I would say that he fits very well with Wraith and Pathfinder. We like to play him with Wraith Pathfinder because then we can all just be on the aggro. Every time I have Totem, we literally just run into team. If you actually want to take him to the next level, I would say that you're playing with Wraith and Watson so that you have all the team utilities and he opens up for more aggressive play than other characters. So my overall thoughts on Revenant is that he's a jack of all trades and his skill cap is very high if you know how to play him. If you're interested in learning more stuff about Revenant, you're, you're always welcome to drop by my stream on Twitch at GracefulFPS and I hope I'll see you around.